Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's news. In today's video, we got a whole bunch of info regarding the upcoming sequel to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, including returning cast members and even filming dates. We got our first look at Funko's upcoming merchandise based on the FNAF movie, and they look incredible. And then we also got a brand new teaser for the upcoming Fazbear Fanverse title, Pop Goes Evergreen, that and so much more we got to talk about in today's video. If you're excited for all the brand new FNAF news, especially the new updates regarding Regarding the sequel to the FNAF movie, make sure to scroll down, tickle that subscribe button. Let's kick this video off by talking about that brand new teaser for Pop Goes Evergreen. Because the other day we had Kane Carter taking to Twitter to write, here's a new look at the mangle, returning in a new way in Pop Goes Evergreen. And attached is a brand new render of the mangle, which I will say looks spot on to Scott's model. Because if you didn't know, for Pop Goes Evergreen, they have someone making accuracy models that look exactly like Scott's model, and they knocked it out of the park with mangle. We do know that a lot of the toy animatronics from FNAF 2 will be showing up in Pop Goes Evergreen, and they're even going to have some terrifying new forms called the False Animatronics. We've seen Freddy, we've even seen Balloon Boy in the past. I'm not sure if Kane plans on revealing the look of False Mango before the game releases, but when asked if they're going to look like Nightmare Fuel, he replied with obviously, so that's definitely something to look forward to. Moving on now, just merchandise, we got FYE releasing, actually, this brand new tumbler cup. There's a massive craze right now going on with the Stanley Cups, and I'm not sure if this is a result of that or if it's just a massive coincidence and timing. But as you can see on the back, you've got Let's Eat. On the front, you of course have the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza logo with Toy Freddy. Moving on now to YouTube, they've been busy cooking up some brand new FNAF products. First up, we got a brand new Toy Freddy shoulder plush on the way. Looks like he's gonna be using the same mold as the original Toy Freddy plush that released. So if you already have this guy, I'm not quite sure why you'd want to pick up a shoulder rider, but in case you missed out on this Toy Freddy plush, now you got a chance to get a smaller one that also goes on your shoulder. They also revealed what I believe to be our first Gregory and Cassie merchandise. We did have Gregory in that Funko statue before the release of Security Breach, but this brand new product by u focuses entirely on Gregory and our girl Cassie from the Ruined DLC. Seems like these are two pins that are connected via a chain. They're talking on their walkie-talkies that we see in Ruin, and this product is just absolutely adorable. Hopefully that's coming out pretty soon. Something that also should be coming out pretty soon from u is their up coming Anim Dude plushie. In a brand new TikTok, they showed off a full look at the plushie, and wow, this looks incredible, besides one minor detail that a lot of people aren't too happy about. I saw a lot of FNAF fans on social media complain that they just had to throw on the trademark U2's eyes on his chest. I know a lot of people are not a fan of how u incorporates their eyes on some of their products, and this, I gotta admit, is definitely one of their misses. Just having it slapped on the top right corner of his body looks absolutely goofy. I'm not a fan of it at all. I mean, at least make him his eyes if you're gonna include your trademark logo. But other than that minor critique, I will say I love this plush. Definitely one I wasn't expecting, but also definitely one I will be picking up when it releases. And lastly, for you twos, they showed off the 3D model of their upcoming Doug figure from the FNAF movie. Not too long ago, we saw the concept art, and this looks exactly like that concept art, except now in 3D. We do know that the movie wave has four to five figures, one of them, of course, being our boy Doug, the other one being Mike, a third one possibly being Jason Blum as well, which is gonna be crazy if that actually happens. So I'd love to know, there are a few slots left open, what character from the FNAF movie do you want to get a U2's figure of? And actually, speaking of Doug and Anim Dude slash Scott Cawthon, the two are connected in this next news piece, because not too long ago, we got the release of the official novel version of the FNAF movie, and there is a strange scene, to say the least, in that novel involving Doug and Max, where Doug, and I don't know how to put this slightly, uh, is caught staring at Max's chest. And a lot of FNAF fans were like, what the heck? That's not the Doug we know and love. Doug would never do that. And so to clear things up, Scott actually made a Reddit post titled Concerning Doug, saying, as many of you know, Doug does something in the novel that seems out of character from the Doug we know and love from the movie. This specific item was deleted from the official transcript months before the book was printed, but maybe I accidentally submitted the wrong version to Scholastic. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, though, just to clear this up, movie Doug is canon, book Doug is is not canon. This is something I will change in future prints. So I just wanted to include this intermission right here for all the Doug fans out there, and if any of you have read this book and you're like, that's not my Doug, hashtag that's not my Doug, thankfully it is officially 
not your duck. And now let's finish off this merch segment by talking about some Funko news, because this is our first look at their upcoming plushies based on the FNAF movie. And as you can see, our first look is of course the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Cupcake. And my god, he looks awesome. Look, I'm like Toy Chica. The resemblance is uncanny. But while Funko's original Cupcake plush took on a lot cutesier look, definitely doesn't look like an animatronic cupcake, the new one definitely tries its best and I'd say really accomplishes the fact that it actually is an animatronic cupcake. The main factor leading to that, of course, being the eyes, they're sunken back, they've got the eyelids. So while I'd still say that this cupcake plush is absolutely adorable and I still love it, this brand new one honestly is a lot more accurate and faithful to the Mr. Cupcake character and I think Funko knocked it out of the park. It's currently unknown what other FNAF movie characters are getting plushies by Funko, but I'd assume it's the rest of the animatronics, which normally I'd complain about because we've gotten plenty of those plushies already. If they look as perfect and accurate as this Mr. Cupcake plush, maybe I'll give Funko a pass, but time will tell. All right, well now let's finally move over to talk about the upcoming sequel to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which has been greenlit, if you ask anyone other than Blumhouse. Because in a brand new Collider article, Ryan Turk, the vice president of feature film development at Blumhouse, he was asked about Blumhouse's upcoming FNAF movie sequel. I don't think Blumhouse has announced it, but is there going to be a FNAF sequel? I'm assuming it made so much money. Turk replying, that movie made so much money. It was a huge success and we're grateful for that. Emma did such a great job, but we're still waiting for the green light on that. We'll see. The interviewer replied, which is crazy, you know, the fact that they haven't green let it yet. And Turek replying, no, it's not crazy. It's just part of the process, I think. Sure, I am surprised that there hasn't been a date of like July 2nd, 2025 on a sequel movie that did that well on both streaming and in theaters. Right, I'm sure Jason's got some tricks up his sleeves. So it seems that people at Blumhouse are pretty hesitant to announce the fact that FNAF is getting a sequel film. And so because of that, you might be thinking, Johnny Blocks, you're lying to us. You clickbaited. There's no FNAF 2 movie news. There can't be. It's not even in production yet. But literally, the next day after that article, people found that in a late December issue of Production Weekly, the FNAF 2 movie was listed as being in production. And if you dig a bit deeper into that issue, you can find some interesting details regarding the upcoming sequel. For one, it's got a current estimated filming schedule of spring 2024. Matthew Lillard, who plays Steve Raglan slash William Afton, and Piper Rubio, who plays Abby, are both set to return. And Emma Tommy is also set to return as the director. I should mention that Production Weekly is a reliable source, but just in case you don't trust that info, why not someone who actually worked on the first FNAF movie confirming everything we just talked about? Because Christian Stokes, the actor behind Hank in the first FNAF movie, quote retweeted someone reporting on this news, and he put it as clear as day, it's true. Even in the replies, he kept confirming it was in fact true. He knows what's going on. He says, I saw that it was in pre-production on the stunt forums. So there you go, straight from someone who worked on the first FNAF movie and is already seeing info about the second film straight from their mouth. FNAF 2 is greenlit. It is in production right now. But also with this news of Matthew and Piper returning, it got a lot of people asking, where is Josh Hutcherson? You know, Mike. Well, about a week later, we got the news that Josh is also set to return and he gives another update on the current status of the upcoming sequel. He says, I know they're in the process right now of nailing down the story and they want to get it going as soon as possible. Obviously, the fans are amazing and diehard. For me, to be a part of it, it was so cool and phenomenal. We hoped it would connect with audience audiences, but I don't think that anybody, even on our side of things, expected it to really connect the way that it did. I'm dying to get back on set. Emma Tommy, our director, was fantastic, and it was such a fun world to play in. I'm excited to see what they're doing next. There you go, Josh Hutcherson is also set to return in the second FNAF movie, and he's already dying to get back into the role of Mike on set, which is awesome to hear. So with all these actors set to return, and some of them even already announcing the fact that they're returning, I'm super curious to see just when Blum House will reveal the fact that it is actually happening. Because while it does seem like they're still pretty early in development, you know, they're still working on the script, they don't even start filming until a couple months later, saying the fact that it has not been greenlit and that it's not even in production is just flat out lying. So I'm curious to see again when Blumhouse is gonna spill the damn beans. But I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. In the meantime, though, this isn't FNAF news, but it is Josh Hutcherson news, his brand new movie, The Beekeeper, just released. Looks like it's getting some pretty good reviews, so I'm definitely gonna be checking out, hopefully, this weekend. But that's gonna do it for all the FNAF news today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.